Hey everyone, and welcome to Tia to the Shattering. So, Tia to was actually fully released a few weeks ago, on May the 13th, but I didn't have too much time to play it, so I figured we can play it now, because why not? And I'm actually going to do this one a little bit differently. This will be the only episode uploaded to my main channel, and I will be doing the rest on my second channel. I might also stream some parts of it, and then I will also upload the VODs to my second channel. So if you are interested in the continuation after this episode, that's where you will be able to find it. So anyway, also we can see patch notes in game now, and there was a new feature added just a few days ago, map zoom. Alright then. So I will be playing as Zoria because I got the most unlocks for Zoria. There are some interesting new difficulty settings compared to when I played last. So, for example, you can actually choose what the auto-resolve proficiency is going to be. Good, normal or poor. I left it on good. And I am using a customized difficulty because that's how I prefer it. Here's the actual difficult preset. And I'm going to modify it a bit. So, increase the maximum total cost of trades to 7. I will increase the group carry bonus per character because I hate not having inventory space for stuff. Word progression can be on quick, that's fine. Challenge difficulty increase, I think small will be better instead of large. Auto resolve proficiency to normal. Overflow gathering half the true is fine. Dismantle resource recovery, that's the minimum, that's also fine. Rogue groups spawn rate at frequent. World size large. Resource availability, I prefer that on normal. Coal removed from starting island, I don't like that one. All seasonal effects. Also, I don't really want to start in the middle of the winter, so I'm going to change that. Well, at least to summer. I guess autumn is fine-ish. Ruins hard, and I will keep manual saves, because I'm a little bit paranoid about losing my saves. Especially when doing anything for YouTube. So, now we will play as Zoria, because I got the most useful unlocks for her. Or at least for the magic domain. Which also comes with Marovit. And I think that's it. And there are two more that I don't have unlocked. I think you actually need to finish the story to unlock those. And the older game finishes do not count. Because I did finish the game with the beta builds, but that doesn't count. You have to do it with her actual release build. Anyway, Zoria. So, she has Warcry. Every time an enemy character comes into the battlefield, the delay of your characters standing on the battlefield is reduced. I really like that one. So, then we will pick up a Shaman. He's already here. Let's actually reset all of that and I will redo it. So, we will grab a Shaman because that is quite good. Then a warrior, and I will pick up a craftsman or a gatherer. Let's get a gatherer. That way we'll start with three characters to speed up our start a little bit. Starting with only two is really annoying. I don't like doing that. Then we'll grab advanced equipment, advanced jewelry, and one more item. I'm thinking maybe some gems and a crow pet. A crow pet gives perception, so that could be useful once we get some kids. We could also get basic supplies just to speed up our start a little bit. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Okay, looks good. And that's going to be our shaman, so marbs. And let's get started. Well, and here we are. I probably won't be making too many cuts, mostly when I'm gathering or crafting something that takes a long time and there's nothing else happening. And we started right next to wood, that is actually very convenient. Let's camp right here, right away, and gather some wood. Four turns will be perfect. We will get a decent amount. Now, since it's autumn, we should definitely hurry up and prepare for winter. That's going to be the main objective. Here. Yes, we will check out an abandoned house. There are actually some voiceovers now, which is nice. Here. 
So we will need it twice as much wood once winter actually starts. But I guess we'll worry about that later. Let's do two more turns. That will give us well over 50. There, 62 wood. Also, I don't think I'll be waiting too long to actually start my village. We'll find a good spot and then start our village. Also, let's check out our equipment. What do we have? Anything better than what's currently equipped? Yeah, slightly better. Monster sword is definitely better. Here, we'll use that. And we also have a ring with extra weapon block. I will use that. Unfortunately, I don't have anything decent for our shaman that will have to wait. Oh, and we got the javelins. That's not too bad. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it, at least for now. Okay then, so let's check this out really quick. You find that's Inside. for the story. There is no way out. And you will have right, to face since this is the lowest escape. possible difficulty, I will use auto resolve. You defeat the witch. And we the got ten changes. herbs. Theodore appeared. Okay, now I could check out this artifact which will reveal a tier 2 resource but i don't want to do that right away it's not like it's going anywhere we can always do it later and we got some level ups i will pick up mysticism for marbs because that's going to be his main attribute and we will get a weapon that uses mysticism later on something like random blasts for example or fireball both of those use mysticism and then this is our warrior. We can pick up weeds because the other two options are kind of bad. And since I have a javelin on this dude, we can pick up some perception. Works for me. That's not a terrible idea. Alright, we got some bones that might come in handy, definitely. Bones can be used to make some fairly decent armor. Well, I don't know. We yeah, we can convince the them, before. that's going to Your be fine. Alright then. Let's take a look around some more. We need a good spot for our village. We got some vegetables. Might be a good idea to gather some. And we can probably unlock some cooking. I will be auto-resolving anything that's one difficulty, because that's the easiest fight. They will not be a problem, but we will be doing manual fights, don't worry. Yep, here's another one. You're honest. And this guy, so that's another story. Okay. I'm not actually sure if these choices have any meaningful consequence. I doing their dirty work. I lived my life, and then when light came knocking, Zbigniew drops to the floor and... Indeed. Well, there it is. And we got another level up. Let's check the options. So we already got both weakness and corruption, but we can improve one of them. Let's improve corruption. Single melee and it's poison damage. If the target has less than maximum hit point, damage is increased by 60%. We'll pick that up. Then we got headbutt. Yeah, let's pick up Headbutt, that is quite a decent skill, and it's a stun, more importantly. But also decent damage. And then showing off for challenges or increased crafting skill. Yeah, let's take showing off, that will be useful, definitely. Okay, and let's see if we can cook something. What do we actually have right now? Yeah, we can cook. Don't even have to unlock anything. So we'll take two turns to cook while also gathering the vegetables. Here. That's decent. Let's check out the ruin. Just looking at my gear. I will definitely have to craft some more items. And we got more food over there. Investigate safer areas. We are not exactly super strong. And here's a trash item. That's a fairly new thing, that wasn't a thing in some of the older builds I played. Because now resources are basically divided into three basic categories. So we got the normal resource, you got the improved resource. Items made from this kind of resource require more work, but are a bit lighter, faster and slightly higher value. 
but also crafting from improved resources carries a small risk of failure and the item being trash quality. That basically depends on the skill of your craftsman. And then there's also the wild resource type, which is kind of a stronger version of improved. This can be very helpful to get some additional effects to get to a higher tier when crafting something. So wild resources can be quite valuable because you can often craft items that you otherwise wouldn't be able to craft with a wild resource. Alright, let's gather some grain and also vegetables at the same time. I'll wait four turns and then we'll move on. I want to have a decent amount of food, but right now our main priority is to find a decent spot for our village. Yep, he will steal some of our food. Here, and one more turn to get more grain and let's move on. We'll check this out. We got some sandstone, might come in handy. Go in carefully. Black cat. Well, this should be easy. There it is. We got a mental blessing. Yep, that's not too bad. Okay, let's keep looking. I need a spot with wood and food, at least. And preferably one tier 2 resource or more, at least one. So here's another story quest. I will consider it, but for a better reward. Hey, we got a skill that will work for that kind of combat. We might as well do that. Lost some sanity, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we got some coal, which is not too bad. Yep, enjoy your food. And we got an illness. Slightly annoying. But alright. Well, this looks reasonable, but I would like to have at least one tier 2 resource, if possible. We could kill him. Nah, there's no need. Yeah, you go and sort it out. Here's another level up. Yeah, these are not super useful. I might actually pick up wits. Or we can pick up plus two wisdom. Plus two wisdom is fine. Yeah, no higher tier resource in this area. I mean, I could still start a village over here. But it's just not a very good spot. Oh yeah, and here's the zoom. That's the maximum zoom out. And this is the maximum zoom in. And that's the island map. Where are the closest other islands? Well, they are roughly kind of the same distance. Good to know. Let's see. Throw the fish back into the water. Ask if another reward is in order. Okay, choose one. We got 16 dark wood. That is actually nice. That is a tier 2 resource. And we got level ups. So I will pick up mysticism because again that's our primary resource. I could pick up perception. That would increase our health a bit. And gathering a bit. Okay, fine. Let's pick that up. We will get plenty of mysticism. As for our warrior. Yeah, I'm going with perception on this one. Alright then. So, still no good spot. I'm not exactly impressed so far, I have to say. Here's some leather and iron. These are all tier 1. Well, this spot looks reasonable. If there's at least one tier 2 resource, we could settle in this area. Let's see if there's anything. That is a lot of wood, holy crap. Yeah, that's a bit of an overkill with that much wood. Just a bit. Okay, we got the spiritual curse. For our warrior, which shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, that doesn't matter too much. I'm not concerned. Oh, dryad wood, okay. I think I'm going to settle right here. Seems reasonable. Only one tier 2 resource, but I'm okay with that. 
that's a regular one, so not improved and not wild. But I won't be picky, that's fine. Also, one change that was implemented some time ago is that you don't need to unlock everything that leads to a higher tier resource. So if I want to unlock Ancient Wood, I can unlock it right away. I only need one previous resource, not all three. So it's a lot less annoying to unlock higher tier resources. You actually just need to have access to the areas where they are available. It is, however, harder to actually make the highest tier resources, because they have very specific requirements. For example, you actually need coal. You cannot make them without coal, so you need coal. Hence why there's an option in difficulties to make coal unavailable on the starting island. So that makes higher tier resources harder to obtain. Research material acquired, good. Skip the story. So, which exact tide do we want to settle on? There's some iron to the west. I obviously want to be in range of Dryad Wood. That's a no-brainer. So, I guess we could settle, like, here. I will be out of range of the iron for now, but... We will be in range in the future. Once we expand the range of our village. But then I'll be out of range of the fruit. Well, it doesn't matter too much. We got vegetables. Let's just settle here. Iron is just a tier 1 resource. It's not really that valuable. And it's close enough so that I can just go there and gather it. Now, first, we need to actually have enough resources to begin with. Because in order to build the idol... Yeah, I need 30 wood. I actually have enough. Okay, let's build it right away. If only I had more dark wood. Yeah, then I could get more bonuses. But gathering range would still be the same, so... Yeah, that doesn't really make a big difference. Okay, let's go with that. This is fine. And while we build that, we can already gather some. Yeah, let's gather some regular wood, because we'll need that. For obvious reasons. As this is a fairly decent spot for the village. I'm happy enough with that. You soon see oh, I might actually lose this one. These light wisps are trying to attach themselves to you with their tentacles. Yeah, this and one will be rough. I might spirit. actually lose this. The darkness that accompanies well, let's try to do it. Is weak against this I can always retreat. You resist, your dark power can destroy we'll you. see. Yeah, I don't know. I probably won't be able to do this one, but let's find out. Okay, their attack is fairly low, but the other dudes will have higher. Maybe we can do it. We'll find out. Javelins in the back. And what do we have here? Weakness and hurry up. Lowers combat attributes, right. Okay, let's maybe wait with that. Yeah, let's wait with that. There's no reason to use it just yet. I think we can actually win this. What's their speed? 8.8, 9.0. Well, there's no reason not to use headbutt, because this is a single attack anyway. So we use headbutt. And then we can use weakness. So something like this. That will do. And we'll still get two more points. So I'll use more javelins in the back. Now they can attack anyone they want. Because they can select the enemy. But I still want the javelins up. This should be fine. We got some armor on both our guys. Well, let's see what the outcome is going to be. Okay, one down. Come on. Still got a lot of health. I think we got this. We'll have one guy with zero health. Hopefully he will survive. If he doesn't, we will still be kind of okay. But I would rather keep him. Okay, now we can use the debuff or hurry up. 
Yeah, let's use weakness, like so. And then I could drop one more dude. Maybe. Hold on, what would our attack speed be? 12.5. I think we're better off using the shield. It's not a whole lot of shielding, but it's something. It's not like their attack skill is that high. We'll win this one. Right? I think so. That was actually pretty close. And it's not over yet. 9 health. Yeah, we will win this one, but we will lose a lot of health. Hopefully it will be fine. There's no guarantee it will be fine. I think this time I will keep only one guy on the battlefield. And give him some shielding. Well, actually, no, screw it. Let's use two. Because that's still better. And I can use hurry up. So that both of them will move first. Thanks to our war cry, mostly. Oh, I thought they would drop one more. Weakness. You resist the assault, and your domain exudes yeah, we won. You resist there it is. And your okay, we lost a lot of health, but now we gained some higher tier materials. Nice. Okay, now we need them to not die. What's their actual health? Because the chance to die depends on your exact health. It's much higher if your health is below zero. Can we actually see chance to die? I don't think I can actually see it. No, I can't actually see it. I don't think so. Well, hopefully it will be fine. It's fine so far. What's his health now? Should be above zero now. Yeah, five. Oh, and we finish the village. Nice. Okay, that's going to be way more convenient. And we got the Topaz Relic, but that's not incredibly useful for anyone at the moment. Our main priority is to get a decent weapon for Marbs. So in order to do that, I will definitely have to unlock scrolls. So let's unlock those. And let's check what we'll actually need to make something decent for him. Here, we want a codex. I almost have enough dark wood. We could, however, get the dryad wood. So that's an option. I mean, we definitely want the dryad wood anyway. So let's just start from that. Two turns. Yeah, we need 350. That's fine. And then we'll start gathering some food. Okay, winter will be happening in nine turns. So we don't have that much time to prepare. Carry on. And our health is fine now, so nobody died. Good. Yep, winter will be starting in seven turns. We better be prepared. We are prepared. You come to a place torn up by tremors. The creature turns a chmu I am. How can one lose a swamp? Good question. We can agree to help. Okay, more research, more experience. We probably want to get rid of their lairs in our general area, but we'll do that later. Right now, better equipment is the priority. So, dryad wood. We need at least 20. We already got 19. Alright, let's wait for another round of that. And let's check our options now. So, again, we want a codex. Say we use 20 dryad wood. And then we'll need bones. I actually got monster bones. Yeah, I don't have quite enough to make an elemental weapon. Because I would have to reach 30.6 essence. Which I do not have. But we can make... A basic weapon that will give us random blasts with two targets with 1.1 misses modifier and also ice spike which uses intellect and mass lullaby which is a pretty nice additional ability that increases delay of the enemies with a horizontal splash pattern i quite like this one this is actually more than fine let's make that then and we'll make that right away 
just remove everyone really quick to make it as quickly as possible. And then we'll want to make some tools that improve our gathering skills. Because we'll need those basically always. So let's wait for that. That will make him way better in combat. Like, way better. He's basically useless in physical combat right now. Like this one. Oh, and that's the main story again. Let's go in. And we'll sit down. Look in. So you're ready to begin the game. Yeah, we are ready to begin the game. So now we have quite a few options. Think of wonderfully mischievous ways to torment your mortal while also cheating your competitors at the table. Well, we could do that. Let's do that. Here. So, a newbie wins. Beginners luck, to be sure. Here, a reward. And you can name a dozen mortals and demons exempt from the gains for three years, as per rules. So, name your people and Leopold, that's fine. And we got a lettered scroll. With random blasts with a single target. Well, that's way worse than what we're about to finish crafting. And we also got a pet that increases our gathering skill slightly. And level ups. So, that's our gatherer. I will just increase showing off. That will be useful for challenges. And then our guardian. Increase counterattack and wait for a better option than weakness for a new skill. Because that's not really an amazing one. We need one more turn to finish the codex. And there it is. That's going to be so good. Here you go. That's so much better. Now we need some armor, definitely. And who has the best gathering right now? Looks like that's actually... Oh yeah, this guy. I mean, obviously, he is the gatherer here. Alright then. So, how are we doing on food? We should probably unlock some better food because that's a good idea most of the time. And I leave our gatherer on a dryad wood because we want as much of that as possible. That's the only tier 2 resource we currently have access to. At least easy access. And hold on, what do we have here in terms of food? Grain, vegetables and fruit. Okay, let's check what we can unlock in terms of food. Let's see. Okay, fruit over there. We want something that can use grain, fruit and vegetables. So like this one. Fruit for primary ingredients. Vegetables and grain for primary ingredients. And fruit for secondary ingredients. Okay, that works. And vegetarian choice. No fruit here. So either traditional menu or goblin recipes. Doesn't really make a huge difference. I think the skill is roughly the same. So for this one we would need fruit for secondary ingredients. And for this one... Oh wait, hold on. This one doesn't use grain. That's the one. Grandma's treats. I'm just going to check the exact requirements for gathering. So fruit is at 90, vegetables also 90, right, and grain is higher, 180. Doesn't really matter then. It can be grandma's treats. The list is slightly longer in traditional menu. Five secondary ingredients here and six in here, so let's unlock this one, that's fine. And then we can use vegetables and fruit actually, so yep. Okay, sounds good. Unlock this one. There, done. And we can still get more unlocks. But now we can actually make some better food. Let's do that then. First, I need to do some more gathering. Yep, we need more fruit. So we'll assign someone to that. We got so much crap in range we can gather. It's actually kind of insane. Plus 56. Yeah, this is fine. A plus 48. That's actually perfect. It's lower because of the season. And then, 
we obviously need wood, so we can keep our Guardian Demon on wood. And I could actually speed up Dryad Wood for now, or get vegetables. If we get more different types of food, then our sanity will increase faster and morale. So it's best if we cook as many as possible. Professional discount. Oh yeah, we can remove the curse. I will most certainly do that. So, vegetables. That's fine. Here, that will remove one curse. There it is. Now it's gone. Nice. And now it's winter. So now we will actually need more wood. Which is not really a problem. <laughs> we got plenty in the area. No problem whatsoever. Now, I will probably go for at least one building unlock. Like the school. Because that would help our research in the long run. There are quite a few new buildings compared to when I last played. Some of them are quite useful. We'll see. We can also get some additional resources from the buildings. That's useful when you don't have a certain basic resource in range of your village. So lumber mill, for example, if there's no wood in the area. But we have wood, so that's not a problem. I can also unlock the ability to replace the idol. And we will be unlocking that later. Not just yet. We don't need that right now. Okay then, so we definitely need to unlock armor because I will need armor, that's kind of obvious. Let's just unlock armor right away. And that leaves us with one more point. But I can get more points easily enough. Right here. Let's see if we can make some armor right away. What do we need? Let's see, heavy armor will use dark wood. Well, medium armor will also use dark wood. Or dryad wood. And then we would need some sandstone. Well, or any kind of stone, really. Gems. And bones. Okay. So, for medium wood, I need metal or stone. Well, there's the metal. We can just go and gather that. That's not really a problem. Here's another fight. I probably won't be going too far until winter is over, but we got 32 turns. And here's another level up. Ground Shake. That's not too bad. All the enemies on the battlefield. I like that. And there's a stun effect involved. Or Will Drain. Will Drain can be nice for challenges, but Ground Shake is also usable for spiritual challenges. I will take Ground Shake. That is a nice ability. And improve our headbutt. Here you go. So, two more turns for another round of Dryad Wood. Yeah, we need to get rid of the lurs because they will keep sending enemies at us. Which I certainly don't mind, that gives us experience and resources, but these groups will get tougher eventually. How's that for Dryad Wood? 35. That's definitely enough to craft something. Can we craft anything decent without actually leaving? Just leather robes. Not even that. I just need to get that iron then. It's not very far, let's just go grab that before we finish the first episode. We can send everyone, it's not like we will be very far away, we will be in range of our village. So this is a non-issue. Let's say 30 wood. That's enough for 15 turns. More than we need and a little bit of food so that we won't starve to death. That would be best, yep. Here. That's enough. And let's go gather some. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. There's also leather to the southwest that will be useful. Here. Four rounds should be enough, I think. Search the mine. Oh yeah, I remember this. Let's kill it. 22 stone, nice. Let's gather what we can and leave. I think keep mining had a possible negative consequence. 
and I don't want to get too greedy. That is a tier 2 stone. Here, I think this will be enough. Uh, no, 13. We need slightly more than that. Weary from your travels, you come across a small hamlet. Accept. You get a warm meal. Mental blessing, nice. By a distant tremor, oh, look for survivors. survivors. There are no the light dims, and before observe you their movement. Oh yeah, this is a tough one. I might be able to do it. This but it's going to be rough. We might be able to do the spiritual version. What would auto resolve be? Yeah, this would actually be fine. I can still do it manually. But I'm going to accept the outcome. This is actually fine. Okay, this is fine. We might need to do a ritual. Which we should be able to. Yeah, let's actually leave and go back to our village really quick. Because I need to do the ritual and I have more resources in my village. There's the level up for our guardian. Mysticism is his main stat, so that's going to be mysticism. And let's do the ritual real quick. So, herbs. Well, there are a lot of things I can use. I can use wood, which we can get plenty of. And then we can also use fruit. Herbs are fine. Yeah, this is fine. Just do it really quick. One person is actually enough. How's wood? We mostly need the food right now. Okay then. Yeah, let's keep the gather on dryad wood because that's the most valuable resource. One guy on wood. And we'll get some fruit as well. And then some vegetables. Here, so our fate is fine now. And that frees up the shaman. So we got 24 more turns of winter. It's not too much, but winter can be pretty annoying. I'm probably going to mostly wait, or at least not go too far away from my village. And now we can actually craft some decent armor as well. Definitely for our warrior. And we got our first kid. Nice. Very nice. So now, I don't actually have a pet for her. Other than this one, but that's not super useful. I don't think I can increase her attributes. But now we could actually go explore to get some level ups. To gain more stats. That's probably what I'll do. Let's give her something, at least for now. Like that. Okay then. Well, or rather him. That's pretty much it. The shield is too heavy, I'm afraid. Let's make some armor, for our warrior at least. I assume he can use something heavy. Uh, not super heavy. His strength is actually kind of low right now. But it will get better. Still, right now, he's limited to around 230. Let's see. Oh, I can't really make heavy armor anyway. I had to leave because of that curse. Do we actually have enough? Yeah, we have enough. I also got 22 granite. I could use that for medium armor, or I could keep it for something more useful. Well, let's see what kind of medium armor we can make. It's almost enough for elemental, but not quite. And if we use iron... Okay, it'll be quite a bit worse. 16.1 shielding versus 20.6. Might be worth it. Let's keep the granite for now. I just need any kind of decent armor. This will do just fine. At least initially. It's certainly better than nothing. It definitely is. Just remove everyone from their tasks real quick. To get our better crafters on this. So now we have 2% chance to get a masterwork quality item. And 12% chance to get a trash quality item. Because that depends on your actual crafting skill, like I already said. Just something to keep in mind. And one thing we should do is turn off the advanced wood usage. 
here. We don't want to burn anything other than regular wood. So that's that. How long will that armor take again? Five turns. Let's wait five turns then. We got a physical blessing and another kid. Nice. Yeah, we will definitely go explore a bit and get some experience, but I just want that armor, at least for our frontliner. As you recover from yet another nasty trip, uh, that's the story you continuation. Him, and he looks up at you, puzzled. I'm the alchemist, or so they call me. I'm looking for the well, the way I. Yes, your grass. Well, agree to help, and that's another level up. Wisdom. Okay, sure, fine. Wisdom is fine. He does have a skill that uses wisdom, so that's not entirely useless. It is a fleeting feeling. What about this one? Flutters in your gut every now and again. You Attack it, maybe not. Now its intensity makes Reach out to the creature to show that you are no you danger out, to it. Searching for a reason. Okay, sure. Path, as you we increased our maximum fate. Yeah, no fine. At least not to you. But Say I that you do not question the will of the gods. Why are you needed? You walk Why your own you path and care little for what the gods think. Admit that the question has crossed your mind and, you and ask if it has answers. An inquisitive okay. mind is the brightest, yes. I do. Yeah, follow but I will not share them with you. I... Okay, that's that. And that's under a level up. Mysticism. Let's finish that armor already. And another kid, what the heck? Don't get me wrong, I certainly don't mind. There's the armor. But yeah, that was a bit unexpected. I usually don't get this many this quickly. I just need to increase their attributes to get someone decent out of this. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, and like I said, I will continue this on my second channel, which will be linked in the video description. This will be the only one published on my main channel. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.